video is the continuation of the previous two videos. So the problem is we say that a student can answer a quiz question in 60 seconds and the time follows uniform distribution. So that means the minimum is zero, the maximum is 60, the PDF is one divided by 60 minus zero. And then here is the graph. And in this video, I want to talk about how to answer percentile problem. Okay, so for percentile, do you still remember the fine number summary? So here is the fine number summary. We have a minimum and then we have a maximum, right? So this is the minimum and then this is the maximum. And then in the middle, we have the median, which is a Q2. And then the first half is Q1. The second half, uh, the Q median of the first half is Q1. The median of the second half is Q2. And then uh, from the minimum to Q1, we have a 25 percentile. What does that mean? The 25th percentile, that means the first 25% of the data. So in a uniform distribution problem, the percentile means the first some percent of the area. So the first problem, I ask you to find the 20th percentile. So in part J, we want to find the 20th percentile. So first we need a graph. So the graph, I'm going to bring the previous graph back. Oh, actually uh, that includes the number two. All right, I will just use that. The 20th percentile means you cut 20% of the probability on the left hand side. So from zero all the way to some point on the left, you have a 20%. But the question is, I am looking for this K. I want you to tell me where to cut the graph to get a 20%. In a regular probability problem, I give you the lower cutoff, the upper cutoff, you give me the area. In a percentile, we do the process in the reverse order. I give you the probability, you tell me where to cut. So this problem, you do have to solve a simple linear equation. So how do you get to the area? You use the maximum minus the minimum, and then you multiply the height of the rectangle, which is the PDF, that equals to 20%, right? So you have to solve for K. So to solve for K, K minus zero is K, right? K times 60 divided by 0 0.2. So the math is just like this. So here you have a K divided by 60 equals to 0 0.2. So let me give you an easier equation to solve. So let's say you have a X divided by five equals to 10. How do you solve for X? X is equals to 10 times five. So X is equals to 50, right? So in this problem, all you have to do is you multiply both sides by the denominator. So K is equals to 0 0.20 times 60. So 0 0.20 times 60, you have what? You have K equals to 12. So K is equals to 12. So what is that means from zero to 12? we have a 20%. So that the meaning of this answer is the probability that a student can answer a quiz question in the first 12 seconds is 20%. Again, the probability that a student can answer a quiz question in the first 12 seconds is 20%. So that's how you answer the first percentile question. And then in the next question, a problem, I, do you see there is a word in bold, the upper 45%. Upper 45% means I need 45% on the right hand side as long as you see the word upper. So let's do that. So uh, K is upper 45%. So you draw a graph from 0 to uh, 60. You have a 1 divided by 60 and then you have uh, the graph of the PDF and then 45%. So that means right here, you cut 45% on the right and then you tell me what this unknown quantity is. So to uh, get to the probability, we take the maximum minus the minimum times the height equals to 0 0.45. So the first thing that you will have to do is you multiply 60 on both sides. So 60 minus K equals to 0 0.45 times 60. So 0 0.45 times 60, that is equals to 27. You have 60 minus K equals to 27. Let's go to a easier question. 10 minus X equals to two, what is X? X is equals to eight, right? How do you get an eight? 10 minus two X is equals to eight. It is just that simple. And then going back to this problem, you have k equals to, you do 60 minus 27, that is equals to 33. 
27, that is equals to 33. Uh, what does that mean? So we have a time window, right, from 33 to 60 that covers 45% of the area. That means the probability that a student can answer a question, a, a quiz question between 33 and 60 seconds is 45%. So you have a one, one minute time window. I give you 33 to 60 seconds to answer a question. What is the probability that you can get, you can answer the question? The answer is 45%. And then the last one, the last one, you don't see that in the textbook. Uh, you don't easily see that on a textbook. So that one, I think it is good to discuss that as well. The last one is middle 50%. So let's discuss a middle. So that is part L is middle 50% because this problem is fun to discuss. So let me draw a picture first from 0 to 60. And then we have the height. And then we have two points. This is the graph of the PDF. And then we draw a cut at 60. Middle 50%, that means you cut 50, exactly 50% 50 in the middle. So that brings you two unknowns, J and K. And then people might think, all right, I can do a J minus K times one over 60. That is equals to 50%. And then I can solve for J and K, right? So let me tell you, this question is not solvable because we are not able to solve one equation with two unknowns. That is impossible. It doesn't matter how many math classes you took in, in, in the past. Solving this equation is impossible. So that means we have to use the property of the middle 50% to answer this question. So you have 50% in the middle, right? How much do you have left in the leftover? So you in 100%, you took 50. So that means you still have 50%, right? And this 50% is exactly in the middle. That means you still have 25% on the left and then 25% on the right. I will need this 25% to find J and K for me. So to find J, I use J minus zero times one over 60 equals to 25%. So J is equals to what? 25% times 60, right? So 25% times 60, you have 15. And then on the other side, you have a 60 minus J, I mean minus K times the height equals to 25, 0 0.25. Remember big minus small, probability cannot be negative. So first you multiply 60 on both sides. So you have 60 minus K, 0 0.25 times 60 is 15. And then the K is you take 60 minus 15, so you K, is equals to 60 minus 50, 15, you have 45. So this is a 15, this is a 45. So from 15 to 25, you capture 50% of the area. That means the probability a student can answer a quiz question between 15 and 45 seconds is 50%. Again, the probability that a student can answer a quiz question between 15 and 45 seconds is 50 percent all right so that will be the end of this video if you think my instruction is helpful please let me know in the comment section below subscribe like and share the video for me I appreciate your help a lot i will see you all in the next problem signing up for now